Hello. So today I will be trying to activate Windows 10 Pro on a Dell Inspiron 560, 64 bit, without without a product key, just the uh, disk. I'm just gonna eject it so you can see what it looks like. It's right here. So yeah. Gonna put it in. Also, this is a 64 bit of 64 bit version of Windows 10. So we're now we're just gonna go to File Explorer, just see if we can actually boot from it from here. Or that it gives us a setup option dot x dot exe. So we're just gonna wait for this to load. Oh also I got this neat mouse. See the trackpads are there. Got I'm just gonna put it back. There you go. This got it. Left, scroll, right. These you it's got two extra buttons you can map. And my laptop I have it set that when I press this one it, the volume up the volume goes up. When I press this one the volume goes down. It's uh, the Microsoft Let's see Trackball Explorer Lore one I mean it's really nice you don't have to keep moving your hands around in order to move the mouse okay sources OEM boot okay boot sack x oh, Okay, we okay. So I'm just gonna make a backup of all my settings. Back up. Back up and restore Windows 7. So backup has not been set up. Set up backup. Hopefully, it gives me an option to actually just back up the settings, so I can just restore them back. Because if it's just gonna again, if it's just gonna rewrite right over what the operating system I have, Cause, because I don't want to reprogram this thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna close that. Okay, commanded. Save on the network. Uh, let's see. That one then. Since I have two hard drives installed on this computer, there is an. There is the one, the main one right there with the operating system, and I just have that one. Just like 300 gigabytes. So now I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let me choose. It gave me two options. It says the first one is let Windows choose, not recommended, but I'm just gonna let me choose. Let's see what the options. Okay, I'm just gonna click next on the issues. So, data files, backup data from newly created users, my main user, the computer. Should I? see let's see how much space does it the other one take up so I can so about properties so I've used 61 gigabytes so far I wonder how long it's gonna take. So I'm just gonna back up my data files. Camera, yep, that's it. Additional locations. Okay, yep. 
save settings. Nope, change schedule. Nope, not gonna run it every once in a while. I'm just gonna save settings. Later, I might probably just. Okay, backup in process. Oh, there he goes. Get it to focus. Why is it focusing? I'm trying to record this on my. the LGS with G. LS970 from Sprint. And the camera doesn't really capture that well in low light. So right now it's there we go. So while we wait, we can just. Well, I'm just gonna check task manager. Okay. Also, uh, this computer when. When I got it, it came with um, Intel Core Cel Celeron, I think. It was a 32-bit single-core processor, and then I upgraded it for to uh, an Intel Core Duo, which is a dual-core processor, but it's a 64-bit ba based. So, yeah, that performance improved a lot. I installed the six gigabytes of RAM in it. I only use the out of four, the four channels, so it doesn't have what to call them. Uh, dual channel speeds. And besides, the RAM stakes are different sizes. Sizes. Well, they're all the same. They're all two gigabits, but I don't think I don't know if the speed is the same. System storage. Yeah. New music will save to local disk. Not this PC. Storage. So I should just make a backup then. Oh, I got 6.2 gigabytes of pictures. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's see the process. It's going up. <sighs> View details. I think I'm just gonna stop this. Stop back up. Stopping. Close. Just gonna open this. Just gonna delete these. Now we're just gonna restart it to boot from the CD. Again, the first time I tried to install this on the uh, Dell Latitude 6410, it says that it will upgrade it, but the only thing is that it will erase all my settings. I'm just gonna press F12 now to boot from the CD. Just gonna select um, DVD read write. There we go. Oh, just press any key. Just press a whole bunch of random keys. So now it's loading. Since it's already got Windows 10 on it, it's gonna re recognize that it's already got pre Windows 10 pre installed. I'm just gonna wait. So it's a nice mouse. I need, kinda get, need to get used to it. Also, if you already have Windows 10 pre-installed, but you wanna activate it, you wanna try to activate it. How I'm trying to do it, 
it's gonna, it's gonna take some time for actually the little loading sign to actually show in the screen. So right now we're just gonna wait. Still waiting. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the video here, then just get back when I hit this actually done loading. Okay, so it started up. This one's a different phone, so the quality might be degraded. So, keyboard layout US, troubleshoot, and uh, reset this PC, remove apps and settings but keep your personal files okay Windows 10 so now hopefully it doesn't delete anything well all of my files it doesn't really care I don't really care about the settings we can just restore those easily okay so are ready to go make sure that, that your PC is plugged in resetting will remove all apps and programs that didn't come with this PC Change settings back to their default to reinstall Windows without removing your personal files. Okay? So you just gotta make a note of the programs that didn't come pre installed. Okay. Resetting this PC. So I'm just gonna pause it for now, then just get back once it's close to finishing. Okay. Okay, welcome back. It's a 37% now, so I'll just pause and just get back soon. Okay, so we're back. So it's done. I missed some parts it said getting ready or something like that, but now it's almost done. So nothing much to worry about. Loading, 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 loading. See the mouse is available? No, nope, nope, the mouse is not available. Oh, it is steady, ready to percent. So I'm just gonna pause it right here, then just get back when it's almost done. Okay, so it's done, it's getting ready now. So I'll just pause it. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, mouse became available. So. So I'm just gonna pause it until I get something else on the screen. Okay, we're back. So we got the Windows logo now. And it's loading. Well, we had the Windows logo previously. But now this time it's loading and it's. Starting. Okay, the button is Go back. Okay. See what happens. Boom, boom. Okay. It's loading. Loading. I'm just gonna pause it until I get something back. Okay, we got past the Windows logo. Okay, it's loading now. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, loaded. See if it's kept any of my settings. Oh, it did! Okay, it kept some of my settings. I'm not gonna show because... That's my email. Let's see if I can get... Welcome, okay. Yeah. So hopefully we can actually get just... Oh, uh, something I forgot to do is just show that the Windows 10 wasn't activated. Oh, so. Hi. We've updated your PC. Okay. Now what? Okay.
Let's see if this loads quick enough. Okay. Only got 16% battery like. Well. Oh, all your files are exactly where you left them. Okay. So you're just gonna kinda of verify that. Only got 60% charge in that this phone. Okay, all your files are exactly where you left them. Okay. It's loading. Loading. When? Okay, I'm just gonna pause it until I get something else. Okay, we got some new stuff. We got some new features to get excited about. Don't, don't turn off your PC. When? So no one's waiting for you. So, Okay, so we're back. And as uh, being said, that all of my programs I didn't have, even I get a little notification that says removed apps. Well, but at least we're gonna go check if it was actually worth it. Just gonna go to File Manager, I mean, File Explorer. Just gonna click, right click this PC properties and uh, it says connect to internet to activate windows so I'm just gonna reinstall the drivers that I need for the internet the internet card I installed in another video there's no reason just go like that afterwards so I'm just gonna do that thing I'll probably make another video updating how it went. Well, thanks for watching. God bless. And don't forget, if you like the video, just like it. If you want more, just subscribe. Well, thanks for watching. God bless.